Hey guys, welcome back to another can review. Today we're taking a look at the physics machine. This is a draft pour machine that you can find on the internet and uh, it is supposed to mimic kind of a more draft pour. It, it takes like an existing like canned beer or a bottled beer and it turns it into that kind of drafty style beer that you would normally get at the bar. Now this thing came with uh, a USB charging cable. It also operates on batteries and you yeah. put those in here in the back. Two These AA are... batteries, which is not bad for an item that big. So also included is the physics draft uh, quick start guide. And on the back, it'll show you kind of exactly how you're supposed to clean it, maintain it, all that good stuff and a actual user guide. So actual manual. So cool. So we've got a Founders All Day IPA, which we're pretty familiar with this beer uh, already. So we know what this tastes like. So we're gonna put it through its paces. We're gonna crack it open and we are going to taste it with and without the draft pour system in place. We just put this inside the tube yeah. in here. Gotta make sure that that silver tube is Going in all the way, then you block. Click. All right, okay. Okay, Perfect. okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Without the draft pour system, it has a normal level of carbonation. It's a session ale. It's like a, a hop heavy session ale. Yeah, it's really um, hoppy. Yeah, it's pretty hoppy. It's a little bit bitter. This is why wow. it's my fa one of my favorite beers right now. Okay. So now the test is to see if the physics machine will change this beer in a meaningful and hopefully positive way. So you put the little tube in the can. There we go. Good. When you click, click. It doesn't really click, yeah. but you can see there's a little like wedge here that tells you where you've aligned it with the other little wedge. So it's 60 degrees so it's like that. forward. Uh -huh. okay. okay. So push forward. Oh. And then stop, push back. Now, in order to get that head, you're supposed to tilt it backwards. Oh, the other way? The other way. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's try it with yours and see what happens. Hear that noise? All right, so that's regular, and then head. Ooh. Oh! Yeah. Looks like a nitro beer for like a split second. Yeah. Like, more like 10 seconds. Sort of, kind of. Okay, well, let's taste this thing and see what happens. It smoothed oh. it out hmm. a lot. Wow. That's weird. It takes that bite from the hops away. Yeah, that bitterness that we talked about at the very beginning it was like a really nice beer, but it was also pretty bitter. Yeah. It completely balanced it out. That is so weird. That is so crazy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, try this Ghost of the Mariner. This is a 2017 uh, vintage. So this is a Imperial Stout, aged in bourbon barrels. My favorite. There's like a lot of bourbon barrel stouts coming out nowadays, and they all just kind of blend together. Woo, dough, man. This smells more blended, like it's one cohesive and I think kind that's of, what aging kind of does. It yeah. kind of like smooths out. Everything. It must have done that because this. So yeah, it's so been at what fifty-five degrees for a, a year. year. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's pretty smooth. It is really smooth. Yeah, it's not too um, heavy on the liquor taste. It's not boozy. You get it on on the it's, nose, but when you drink it, it's a whole different experience. Yeah, that's crazy. It like blends into the beer. That's really nice. Like it's one flavor now. That's really yeah. good. That's super smooth, wow. Ironically, today is the 2018 release date for this same beer. It's ironic, but cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's now try it in the physics system. We have just cleaned it, so it should be good to go. It's, um... This will fit, right? Yeah, it's supposed to fit all bottles and okay. sizes, including the 32 ounce. And a 500 and a 750 milliliter. Let's so take a look at this on the inside. Like, how deep does this go? It goes pretty deep. Yeah, it has to. It goes, yeah, it goes like up to here. 
So this is... Up to this black portion right there. Yeah, I don't know what's... This is what, 750, I think? 1.6 ounce. Yeah, it's about a 750. Yeah, 750. So this time I'm gonna try to do this correctly. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Failure. Huh. There oh, it there goes. it goes. All right. Okay, there we are. Oh my God. Yeah, it's acting like it has uh, nitro in it. That is so cool. It's awesome. Okay, your turn. Okay. You do it. There oh, go. there it goes. Okay, that's good. I Looks mean, look like at milk. that. Yeah, it really does. Like, it has this thick one inch. Mine has a, like a one inch layer yeah. of head on it that's just kind of chilling. It doesn't seem to be dissipating at all. So the cool thing about this is that like for stouts, if you have like a can stout, it'll turn your can beer into, into like a nitro beer of some sort. Look at that lacing and it just hangs yeah. around. That is so cool. It smells even smoother than it, than it did before. Less intense. Mm. What? Dude, wow. that's crazy. I want to try a bunch more different beers in this thing on the channel. Mm -hmm. I think that would be really interesting to, to do some like, maybe like a sour or something like that. Wouldn't that be weird? Yeah, I mean. Would that be better or worse? I don't know. I don't know. How much was this machine? So this was 120, like 129. This is the brand new latest version because the other two versions are even cheaper than this. The second version looks just like this, except it's not USB compatible. Um, it's only battery operated. And I don't think it's not compatible with all the bottles. Ah, uh, okay. Those are the two di big differences. This one's USB compatible, and you can put pretty much any, with the exception of a 64 ounce growler, pretty much. Um, Anything any, in it. Yeah, the original one, was specifically made for like growlers. Okay, got so it. So that's for like a you know, 64 ounce growler. You stick it the exact same thing, but much larger. Well, I have two complaints already. Two very minor complaints. One is that every time we switch a beer out of this thing, we have to clean it. If you want an IPA and then you want a stout, you gotta go clean the machine in between. So that's potentially a drawback for some people. We've been just taking a glass of water and putting it in here, and you're supposed to run the machine for four or five seconds. We'll put another glass under here and just run it for four or five seconds. But it's a whole process. Like if this machine isn't on your countertop, then you're gonna be transporting this thing back and forth all the time. Not only that, but after you use the machine, you can't let it sit dirty. Like you have to clean this thing yeah. every single time you use it. So. Eh, but it's nice that it's just water. So it's not like this whole process where you have to deal with brushes and chemicals and nothing like that. So that's a plus. Yeah, eh. that's true. I mean, the only downfall is you do have to clean it out. Especially when- Welcome to the world of beer. I, I didn't expect it to work quite as well as it did. It definitely has given both of these beers a different character and a different flavor that I wouldn't otherwise have gotten. So, I mean, in that I see value there. $130 value? Depends who you yeah. are. I think if you're a craft beer aficionado and you love craft beer and you love everything about it and you, you really like buying different kinds of beers and different, especially with this one, different sizes of beers like yeah. we do, then there's definitely value in spending the extra cash for the Busta Busta, you know, USB capable uh, yeah. version. But I think for your everyday consumer, maybe one of the other ones. Yeah, like I think, I think the cheaper one people would go for. I would definitely spend the money on this thing for sure. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. We hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as we enjoyed drinking the beer. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell button for notifications when new videos come out. Until next time, stay crafty. Hey, guys, welcome back to another can review. Today, we're taking a look at this physics machine. This is supposed to be a draft pour machine that transforms all your existing beers into more fizzy beers? <laughs> you don't have the beer. Yes. It's the physics yeah. model whatever machine. It's called the physics draft pour. Okay, then cool. you tilt it backwards to get uh, the I didn't head. do that. I didn't do that. OK. 
Okay, but that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> cool, well that's been a damn trip. I didn't think it would work quite as well as it did.